he practically adopted you. Which nobody can tell you what to do. But Break up with him. He cut, I think he cut your power. <laughs> I'm so sorry. For a Be second, back. I thought I was just watching the podcast. Uh, yeah, you're high, right? <laughs> yeah. Love that for you. Here it comes. Uh, let's see, Daniel. Um, going... Actually, a little update. The um, call from earlier finally got back to me. Oh, the, the porn uh, one. Uh, talking to boyfriend about wanting to do porn. Yeah, let's time. do the porn one. Available? She messaged me. She's very interested in calling in. Let's great. get That's it great. going. Okay, uh, I will uh, bring them in right now. Stand by. Um, is it Oni? Or do you go an an Anagy or Oni? I was saying the gecko Oni? Uh, uh, costume really oh, screams me. Yeah, hey, it's, it's Oni. You look great. Oh, there you go. Wait. We have Oni here. Hi, is this Oni? It's Oni, it's, I guess. It's Oni. On, Oni, how's it going? Um, it's good. I'm sorry. I'm very nervous no, right don't, now. No, don't, don't be, don't be. Yeah, I just, I smoked a bunch of weed, so. Oh, shit. Uh, no. you, heard, you heard his song. It was, like a, it was like a siren oh, call. I want to do porn, but my boyfriend says no way. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. <laughs> okay, wait. Oni. All right. How how are you doing, Oni? So, What's going on? Oni, Oni, Oni. Oni. I'm trying to find... So how... Uh, She's right here. We can just ask her. Yeah, how old are you? Where do you live? Am... Or don't tell me where you live. Just tell me how old are you. <laughs> What's your social yeah. security <laughs> number? <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, right no, so I'm, I'm 20. Um, yeah, I started doing OnlyFans two years ago, literally, like, right when I turned 18, because I was like, fuck it. Like, I wasn't feeling like I had much to live for. And so I was like, well, I'm not going to live long anyway. Mm. Let's do this. Sure. Um, okay. But, ha have you been successful on OnlyFans? Yeah, I've, I, I've made enough to quit my job, and I worked at a bank. Mm. Like... <laughs> So that's kind of awesome, right? Because that that's what the dream in a lot of ways to be self-employed. How much are you pulling yeah. in a month, may I ask? Uh, I don't want to talk about it just in case any of my I I have my subscriber count. Mm -hmm. I have certain things <laughs> turned off so people don't figure out who I am. So what's um, the what's the um, what's the sort of issue with the boyfriend? Okay, so the issue with the boyfriend is um, I am at a dilemma of if I should ask him to do um, like a like a video with me okay. um, because uh, I don't know. He said very conflicting things to me about my OnlyFans. So he thinks it's cool that like I can make my own money and do like I have plenty of free time to help him out with just random shit that he needs done. Um, and it's just I, I don't know. And then sometimes he he talks like weirdly about women. He's like, oh yeah, all those girls are you know some type of way and so i'm not really sure if he's like into the only fans thing or if he's just down because the money or what uh have you like have you had like a conversation with him where he like expressly <laughs> said said anything or anything like that no but he's i don't know <laughs> let me I ask know, you this let me, let me ask you this how long have you guys been together? Um, uh, we have been together two years. So were you dating him when you started the OnlyFans or after? Um, after after I started the OnlyFans, I started dating him. Um, it was it was kind of at similar times, but the OnlyFans came first, and I told him about it, and he was kind of like, "Oh, I don't know if I want to date an OnlyFans girl." Like, blah blah blah. And I'm, yeah. How long, so I, how long ago did he say that? That was at the very beginning of our relationship, and we were sitting in an IHOP. <laughs> so, so it's been, so he told you he didn't, he like, how, but you guys have been dating for two, two years. years. Yeah. So, yes. I, I mean, has this, has it been, like, a, a, a point of content? I mean, this is your job, so I assume you're talking about it all the time. I, like, I, I assume... The nature that you do OnlyFans is 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 in your guy. You yeah. guys, it's brought up. 
Yeah, it gets brought up, but he he always seems really weird about it. Like he doesn't want to see what I'm doing. Okay. Really? How does that I, yeah. how does that make how does his feelings about your OnlyFans make you feel? Well, honestly, I'm glad that he doesn't want to see what I'm doing because mm. on one hand, I can see like it's it's weird for him because it's like for other guys. But at the same time, they're just paying customers, so I don't, I don't know what the big deal is. And I've, I've offered to give him just like a free account because I, I can do that. I mean, I do the same um, thing here. I just don't show my dick. You know what I mean? I'm out here <laughs> entertaining people. It's just my dick is in my pants. Is that any good? Mm-hmm. We're grateful for that. Yeah. Uh, let me. Uh, uh, no. Okay. What kind of what kind of content are you making? Is it you're just taking nude pics, or are you like? self-pleasuring is it graphic um it's it's not too graphic it's just like self stuff and like lewd it started with like lewd pictures like bikini pictures and stuff because you know i know i have the vibe like oh i'm a young girl i don't know what i'm doing and i got like a shit ton of people like in the first month i started and it was it blew my mind how'd they find but, it so I have um, a TikTok, and um, one day, like, I was just dicking around after high school, and I started posting on TikTok. This was, like, right when COVID started, so I had too much time. And at some point, I had 10,000 followers, and I was like, oh, oh my God, that's mind-blowing. Like, I'm sure everybody knows that type of feeling. So then I decided to start the OnlyFans, and I put it in my TikTok bio. Don't do that. Yeah, if anybody's watching, do bands. not do that. <laughs> well, I, look, is, look, is it an, is it, would it be ideal if he was into the OnlyFans, or you prefer to just have your, like, separate universes? <laughs> separate universes but i don't want to hurt him in any way by not including him in everything in case that's what he wants but he, he hasn't expressed any like i don't know he has he, he just seems to have weird opinions on women who do stuff that i do but at the same time he's a very nice guy like he's perfect he's got a great dick it would look good on camera but yeah so the issue is is not about like oh this OnlyFans thing is is a is a point of contention in our relationship. It's just about whether or not you want to get him to show his dick on camera. Yeah, a little bit. Well, hold on. <laughs> when you say you want to start doing porn, I don't mean with other people. Just him. Um. Yeah, just just him. He doesn't have to show his face because obviously, in like most porn stuff nobody wants to see the guy's face anyways like i can say that i'm a girl i watch a lot of gay stuff let me just but <laughs> besides the point um he i told him that i was gonna unblock the state that we lived in and he didn't seem to like that which that that's like a, that he's embarrassed a huge he's embarrassed I, he doesn't want people to know that his girlfriend does only fan yeah Mm. And do people know, has anybody connected the dots with who you are and what you do in your life? Um, no, actually, I'm pretty open about it with, like, my friends and stuff. Like, my, my family doesn't know, except for my brother, and my brother clowns on me quite a bit for it, but that's, you know, that's what brothers do. And do you think that you would be making substantially more money if you included your boyfriend in, in something like that? Um... I think I would because I've had a lot of requests for like, you know, some sloppy toppy vids. Um, What'd you say? She said sloppy, sloppy, toppy. sloppy toppy vids. Oh, <laughs> sloppy toppy. Yeah. Do you currently do sloppy toppy on like a fake one? Uh, well, I've had that request too, but that doesn't feel right. You're not going to get the same energy from the real thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you need the authenticity. It'll be worth a try though. <sighs> yeah, I guess it. I mean, I'm just giving you advice because I, I, my no, opinion that's, that's is that a... my opinion is that this guy is not going to want to do this with you based on what you're saying. In yeah. fact, cock. Yeah, that that's just my yeah. prediction here. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, yeah so... It doesn't sound like he's going to. I mean, I mean, look, if you guys have a close enough relationship, I mean, you should ask, yeah, I guess, you know, right. you know, go for it. But uh, I don't know. I'm I'm still stuck on stuck on this whole thing of like, it sounds like he. 
I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know this guy, but it sounds like he has like a, a problem with what you do. Then that is a weird, like contentious mm -hmm. point. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around that because I mean, you guys have been going on for two years and you sound like you're yeah. happy with him. And the one That's... important thing I do want to say is that he knew what you did from the very first day you guys started dating. This isn't something you foisted on him. Yeah. He knew this going in. Yeah, yeah, I think because in the beginning of me doing OnlyFans, it was only like, you know, cute little lingerie photos. And then I gradually started to expand and I like I would send him pictures and stuff of what I was doing. Yeah. So I didn't feel left out, you know, um, and now I'm worried that if I take like another big step, like even if that's doing like, I don't know, more graphic content. Um, I'm worried if that would be an even bigger issue for him because mm -hmm. I have bigger mm -hmm. goals for where I want to get in life. And I know what's going to get me the most money, but at the same time, I love this guy, but I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm just at a loss. You know, obviously you got to talk to him <laughs> about all this. I think you really got to just ask him like, do you approve of what I do for work? Have right. This is, I feel like there's like so much, so much is like bubbling Not and it's like, said. just c yeah. can we have the conversation of like, Hey, what's going on? You're saying all these things like, about do you respect people who do only fans, but yeah. like, yeah, I mean, if you guys had a, a in-depth conversation about this stuff, cause it seems like it's just like bubbling in the backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 What? Have you had the conversation? No, 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 no. There's just a lot bubbling. <laughs> so, yeah. so you, you got to bring it to the surface. You have never asked him, do you, do you respect, what do you think about my profession? Or you know what I mean? You never asked um, him that? I've never asked him that, but I've asked like, hey, what do you think about me posting something like this? And he tries to give me his opinion, but he leaves it more of to like, Okay. Um, like if, if I wanted to post a, a nude, um, I'd be like, Hey, what do you think of this? Do you think I should post it? And, um, it's just, he would, he would give me like his body language would say no, but his so, like words would say, so I think he's uncomfortable with it, but mm -hmm. his words are telling me the opposite and I don't know what to do. Well, I, you, I mean, I think well, there's uh, so much like assuming going on. We're talking about his body language. Like you. I mean, you've I been know. dating the guy for two years. You know, you just have a conversation about it. I'm fucking nuts. Am Here's I what nuts? you got to do. Ask him, do you respect my profession? Let's just figure it out. Yeah. And then think... ask him, if he says no. Sorry, I have ice in my mouth. <laughs> Love Where's that. It? I had ice in my mouth. Oh, okay. If he says no, then you kind of have a problem and you guys got to work out. If he says yes, then you can move on to the plan B. Can Hell I suck yeah. your dick on camera? <laughs> what does he do? And and he, I'm assuming there's going to be a nice little bit of money in that for him potentially too. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. Like, if I did get that far, I'm not even sure what I would compensate him. I'm not sure how to split that divide, and I don't want to end up in like a five percent mm -hmm. um, issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What what does uh, what does he do for a living? He takes that five percent. How the fuck did he do that so fast? My dream. <laughs> He's the um, best so, in the game. Yeah, he's sick. Yeah, his acts are great. But um, yeah, no, my boyfriend, he he has a normal job. I'm not gonna give too many details. Does about he make it. a lot of money? Um, What's his income? Um, so he uh at where he's currently like working full time, I don't think it's great. He has good health insurance though, which is good for him, I guess. It'd What's he cool. doing? Like fifty, sixty thousand? What 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 are we what range are we in? Uh so his current job is probably like 35, but then he has Ooh. some property that he rents. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the property that he rents. He's good. He makes probably like 60. So he's a landlord. He's a landlord. How's he a landlord yeah. that makes 35 so k? Two, two Wait, controversial uh, <laughs> occupations. <laughs> that's that's yeah, right. Two, baby. Yeah. Landlord. I don't. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Hold on. How did he afford to buy an apartment with that income? Um, he, he just got lucky. I don't know. He didn't do a whole lot in his twenties and he just saved like a bunch of money up and it's like in the very past few years that he's, um, yeah, I mean, he's already fucking people that. over. He's just not doing it on camera. 
So, but I guess my point, this is interesting. So he makes about 35 K you probably based on what I understand of, of how well you're doing could easily compensate him that much for, for participating in your videos. Yeah. Yeah. Would you pay him something like 10,000 a month or is that too much for you? I would fucking love to do that. Honestly, like I want to take care of this man, but I feel like it comes off like real mm. weird sometimes. Just tell him, bro, because this man is making thirty-five thousand a year. Sure. If you approach him like, I want to pay you ten thousand dollars a month. Right. If he looks, sees it as a business. All you got to do is, you know, participate with me. Let me, me suck your dick. Yeah. Like. And then, <laughs> and then maybe he can set some ground rules. Like, I don't want to do this. I can do this. He can cover his face and all this. To me, I mean, listen, that sounds pretty dope. How old yeah, is he? That's that's what I'm thinking. Uh, he, okay, nobody black, nobody come for him in the comments, okay? I made this decision. I went after this man. Oh, he is 32. And, and you're 20? Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry, but this guy's a 32-year-old dating an OnlyFans model and then, like, being secretly judgmental. And makes 35k a year and Ooh. is a landlord. Dude, this guy's a fu- this guy is going nowhere <laughs> What? 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 Life. What, are, what attracted you to him? <laughs> what, what, is, what is keeping you wanting to be in the relationship? <laughs> well, he's kind. He's driven. Driven? Um, like, well, no, no, no. So he has his job and then he has his rental property. And I know we fucking hate landlords. But I, mm -hmm. he takes care of his tenants. I, that's just it's a like, joke. I'm sure he's. I, he, you can be a good landlord. It's, it's eight hundred dollars a month per mm -hmm. unit. Like it's nothing crazy. But well, let me ask you this: Let's say you guys had this conversation where you asked him if you know, do you do you respect my profession? And you kind of got to the bottom of the things that yeah. you wanted to get to the bottom to. Uh, is there something that he could say or or information he could reveal about how he feels about you that that would change your opinion on the relationship? Um, honestly, I think it's going to be if he doesn't respect what I do, that's probably just going to have to be it. Because I don't want to waste any more of this man's time. He's going to be 40 mm -hmm. soon. Well, I thought you said um, he was 40, 32. Yeah, that's not Yeah, soon. I said what I said. So is he going to be 40 soon or is he 32? <laughs> Eight no, years is no, soon. In the... 32 is almost 40. Yeah. Okay. In what that's world what is 32 almost I mean, that's why 40. we always say you're almost 50. Okay, you're almost you're 40 30 then. Uh, you're 42. Oh, you're basically Do you feel like you're almost 30? Yeah. No. No, you don't. So stop it, ageist. Shame on you. No, I feel dead inside, but... So are oh, you yeah. kind of the, are you the, the, the provider in this relationship? It sounds like you make a lot more money than him. When you guys go out to dinner, do you pay? Um, I, I try to pay when I can. He pays when he can't, when he, I, I usually try to pay because we don't, we don't go out a whole lot. And when we do, it's like, ooh, it's, it's my little treat. Would you order like, out? Go. Would you spend money? Um, yeah, we go to restaurants and stuff. We get fun. Do you, you know. pay for that stuff? Yeah, sometimes we we try to split it pretty evenly, but I don't know. As like, a percentage, hold, as based uh, on a percentage, how often do you pay for it? Uh, I probably say fifty percent. Oh, well, that's great. Okay. The guy, then that's yeah. that's awesome. What uh, what yeah. do you like? Have Have you ever been in a relationship before this one? Um, not really. Okay. No. What do you? I mean, what do you feel like you're getting out of this arrangement? He's got um, a nice dick, didn't you hear? I forgot about yeah. that. Um, but honestly, let's get real. How would I know? Um, no previous relationships. Yeah. But he took okay. your virginity? Yeah. Whoa, this is interesting. Well, okay. Let me let me put it into perspective. Dan says I, get uh, out. Dan is saying get the Get out. I mean, do do what you're gonna do. Uh, I mean, it's deeply yeah, personal, yeah. but yeah, yeah I know. two years, she said. Yeah. How'd you meet this old guy? Where'd you meet him at the fucking hospice? <laughs> No, I met him. I we both um we both worked at the same restaurant. Um, yo, bro, I met this high school girl that dude, was hot as this guy. Yo, this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> yo, <laughs> that is he a manager? Well, what was so his, much. what was his role? No, he, he was he was my coworker. We had the same like job title and everything. And um, I thought he was like you know maybe he's like twenty five. Like he looks very young for. 
you know. What's her name again? It's kind of hard. Ani. 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 Ani, listen. Um, uh, look, you... You, I think uh, to be in a relationship with someone, it's a whole thing. It's a large part of your life. And you should be with someone, ideally, who, you know, accepts what you do and is and is okay with it. And I just, I, look, I'm not going to tell Big you what, time. I'm not going to tell you what to do. None of us can tell you what to do. But just, I hope that you're thinking about these things and whether or not they serve you and, and what you're kind of, getting out of it in terms of your life. Listen, if my significant other was doing OnlyFans primarily, I would want to see that what she's doing because if you have a good partner, you they're going to care about what you do and want to have input for you and be involved, right, to encourage you or to give you feedback to support you. So the fact that he's dis just totally disinterested to me is... A red flag, right? And not all guys, and listen, not all guys are suited, well suited to be the significant other of someone who's in your field. It just, not all guys are well suited for that. And also, I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I think being like, tw like being so young and having a significant other. I, I mean, especially, I mean, you started dating him when you were, you were eight, 18. Eight, yeah, I mean, dude. if you had, like, like... How well into 18 were you before when you... you <laughs> got it. Okay, I got jokes. Okay, well, not really jokes. Fucking 10 days. My birthday's the 5th. The 15th. Yeah. Oh, you know sure. that's fucked up, well, right? Well, well, <laughs> you, you know that's fucked up, right? Yeah, a little. Listen, um, listen, man. I just, I, it, it, it bothers. Like, you haven't even had time to like be alone and fucking look at stuff. <laughs> That's all I'm telling. Ah. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! This man. Ten days after your 18th birthday. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Girl, you know that. You know that's fucked up, right? Also, you're gonna mature I, past him so soon. Like so true. The queen. fact that he is in the maturity space that you are, or you were when you were that young. So true. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna outage him very soon. So 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 true. Yeah, and I've. It's just it's it's gonna be like ripping off a bandaid because I've started to like not build a life because you're right. I'm too young, but like I've, I've moved into a house with him. Like we got a lot going on and you, mo you moved, it's just... you moved in with this guy. Yeah. Well, like, hold when... on, hold on. Did you move into his place or you went and got a new place? To his place. And then he bought a house and we moved into that. How's this motherfucker? So he's your landlord. Room? I don't understand this. This is not adding up. This man makes 35 K. How is he buying houses? He bought an apartment and now a house. What's going on here? He saves. He he's just saves his money. I guess he's you can frugal. save that much money when you're old as shit. Oh my god, he's <laughs> he's not old. Chill out, man. Well, old I'm man. I'm older than old him, man. so. But I'm not dating. I'm not dating an 18 year old either. My wife is two years younger than me. Tell me, tell me again what you said. You feel like you're you're getting. You're out the of victim. It's not your fault. That, say, tell us again what you feel like you're getting out of the, the relationship. I feel like I have somebody that, I don't know, loves for me yeah. and cares okay. in some aspect for me, okay. you know? Do you, like, when Did you he just... Pra he practically adopted you. When you think about, when you think about, like, yourself, like, do you have a, do you have a good, like, self-confidence, <laughs> respect, image? Do you, do you yeah. have a healthy relationship with yourself? Yeah, I have a healthy relationship with myself, um, but I, you know, probably what put me in this situation, and this is going to go into a daddy issue situation, uh -huh. you want to know how old my father is? Sure. Be eight. How old? He's eight. 38. That's pretty wild. But your dad's 38? Whoa. So he had you when he was 18, so, yeah. Mm. So wait, so he's very close to your dad's age. That is interesting. So you do you, like, like, do you like older men in general, or did you just happen to get involved with this guy? Oh, I do. I do, but lately I've started to think about it, and it's like, what if I want to, you know, be able to, like, successfully grow old with someone to, like, completion, you know? Like, you know, die together instead of him dying, like, 
I don't know. Why? 10, but you're so years you shouldn't be thinking right now about who like who you're gonna die with, right? You know? Twenty. You got lots of time. You're young and you're rich, dude. It sounds like um it's awesome. Look, I I feel like here's the thing is nobody can tell you what to do. But break up with him. I'm telling you. Hey, let me ask you this. You live I'm with him. Tell Are my you... grandma you said that. What's your what's your grandma think about How all this? How old your grandma? Fucking uh the the 29? <laughs> My grandma's 61 and she knows that I love this podcast. She's literally, she thinks I can text you guys. Like, <laughs> That's she's awesome. not. She's like, will you tell Ethan and Ela this? And I'm like, Aww, okay. I love her. What's your, have you, what's your grandma make of this whole situation? Well, she doesn't know what I do and okay. she doesn't know about the inner conflict I'm having because okay. I don't want to tell her what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. okay, so I have questions. So, you moved into his home. Are you paying him rent? Me? Can you hear me? He cut, I think he cut your power. <laughs> uh, Ani? Ani? She's still there? She, she's still in the channel. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Do, do, you, do, you, do you pay this guy rent? So we can't hear you. I don't know if it's a reception mm -hmm. thing or we could hear you. Now we can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can yeah. hear you. Yeah. Oni, do you pay this guy rent? My AirPods died, but yeah, I pay. I pay. You rent. pay him rent. Ooh, well, it's I just mean, a loan. How much by percentage do you pay of the rent? Um. Well, it, it's like we go in together, but I give him a grand every month. And how much is his mortgage? Um. I want to say it's oh, it's eighteen hundred. Girl, you fucking paying more than half his mortgage. You. But, dude, you're paying his mortgage. Big difference is this guy. This guy back. sucks, dude. You're literally paying for his house. Is your house? Is your name on that deed? No. No. Time to go. You're getting yeah, played a little bit there. Yeah. How's it? But like, how was he? Just imagine, like, if he's okay with you paying a thousand of an eighteen hundred dollar mortgage. I mean, that's pretty slimy. Yeah, yeah, I've right. got some things to think about, but I'm gonna yeah. let you go because Dan wants to pull the plug. And no, he so does. Oh, no, I don't. No, 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 really? no, no. Listen, if I wanted oh. out, I would have. I would have. No, e just, yeah, Ethan's the one that always wants to hang up. On I people. just kind of wanted an out. Yeah. Oh, you want to leave? Oh, oh okay. Well, yeah, you well uh, uh, if you want, I was, I was gonna ask because uh, you said you had some things to think about, and I was like, okay, yeah. you, I don't. It sounds to me like because you keep what you do kind of close to your chest. Like, do you like? Is this? You're one of your first times kind of talking about this aloud. And then what are you now thinking about as you have done that? Yeah, this is definitely the first time on like such a big fucking like I've been... Okay. Um, and so I'm I guess feeling... before before we go, what do you feel like you have to think about? Um, I have to think about if my boyfriend respects my job, okay. generally if he respects me, how serious he sees the future with us. Okay. Yeah. Because he doesn't really, like, he's weird on marriage, so... Listen, I don't want to keep you if you're uncomfortable, so... No, 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 I'm not uncomfortable, Ethan, I'm not. I just, I really have to pee, like, really, <laughs> really, really bad. Okay, go pee, go pee. Oh, well, I'll wait for you if it's just that. How bad okay. are you right now? Why don't you bring I it... I so bad. <laughs> yeah, go pee. I do that, too. Okay. Taking a show. pause to pee. I'm so sorry. Go, 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 it's fine. Go for it. You're good. Okay. So this, this... This is, you know what's interesting is she goes, Yeah, sure. When she brought her boyfriend up, she knew it was a Pandora's box. So she goes, don't hate him, but he's 32. She, yeah, she, she, she knew. She this knows. This but I feel bad because it seems like uh, I, she, you know, has nobody that she's talking about it to besides this fucking uh, she's podcast. she's so private about Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. It seems like as she's talking about it, she's, she's uh, you know, thinking about it. Can you believe she's paying... More than half of the fucking mortgage. I, I pretty wild. This is maybe reading way too far into it, but my read on that is like his whole wishy washiness about like it sounds like he's not really comfortable with it at all. He just but, ooh, because he but doesn't want her to get financially exactly. It, yeah. She's, he's yeah. he's mooching off of her, yeah. so he's not okay with what she does, but he likes the money. Yeah. That's that's kind of my read on everything she laid out. Yeah.
but, but what a scumbag to stay with someone you don't respect. Yeah, no, it's not good. It's not good. I think. Um, I'm, I'm back. I'm so sorry. For a second, back. I thought I was just watching the podcast. Uh, yeah, you're high, right? <laughs> yeah. Love that for you. <laughs> so we're we're kind of we're kind of oh, were you listening to us then if you were watching? Yeah. 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 So I don't know, man. I, you're 20, so there's. There, uh, I think that as time goes on, when this relationship is in the rearview mirror, because I don't I don't think there's any way this lasts. In fact, yeah. In fact, I think you'll look back and see just how fucked up it was. It wasn't t with time. Yeah. I, I think you got to. Yeah, dude, this that sucks, man. That sucks. Well, you say you're just what? What are you what are you feeling and thinking? Um, I, it's it's I. <sighs> I think we've got to the root of this issue, guys. I think it's a self-esteem issue, which I know sounds yeah. very contradictory to the like only fans thing. At all. But it's like I, he, nobody's gonna love me besides him, like Doesn't, that. Yeah. You know? Mm, yeah, yeah. We are. I was. That's, that's why I feel like we were getting at that. Like, you know, if yeah, that's why I kept. I'm like, what are you? What are you getting at? What are you getting out of this? Because obviously, you feel like you're getting something out of it, or else you wouldn't be there. So it's like, okay, what are you getting out of this? Oh. And then if we get to the bottom of that, like, wh what's a better way to a more sustainable, long-term, self-involved yeah. way of achieving that without, you know, fucking paying only, this guy's me, mortgage? Why are you so worried about, like, being loved? Is it a daddy, I guess, a daddy thing, potentially? I, I haven't had, like, a really stable, like, home life. Um, like, yeah. I moved schools, like, every year up until high school. I see. Like, I just haven't had a whole lot going on for mm -hmm. me. So it's like the first person that really showed serious interest in me, and it's, I don't want to lose that because it was hard to find. Mm -hmm. Well, you found it ten days after turning eighteen. Was it that hard? <laughs> no, <that's... laughs> as far as time goes, I think you like got it like almost immediately. That is an excellent point, Ethan. You know what I mean? Like, you sound like a catch. Aww. You're every, you sound very sweet. I'm sure you're beautiful. You're making a lot of money. You know, there's guys, lots of guys who will respect what you're doing and be and love you uh, for who you are. Well, forgetting about like guys for a second. I mean, if you really feel like you uh, have like a, you know, nobody will love me unless if I love myself thing, like, you know, I mean, you're only, you're like still walking that path of getting like internal self validation and shit. So, I mean, that's, that's more important than, that's way more important than like finding somebody. Who will love you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I've um I've been dealing with like that feeling um for a long time too. Yeah. And like so I've been watching the podcast forever and my one thing was like I want a relationship like Ethan and Ela. Because you guys, I don't know, you're like yin and yang, like you're all together, like you're you're the perfect couple in my eyes, even if you're not perfect, you know? Um Well, we are and, perfect, so I'm gonna stop uh, you there. Okay. All right, never mind. Correction. Correct um, the record. Yeah, okay, but so... Well, right off the bat, if, you're, if you want to use my relationship with Eli as an archetype, I have a, t a ton of respect for what Eli does, and I want to be invested in everything she does. You know what I mean? Also, yeah. there's like a super high level of communication between us. Like, we know how we feel about everything. Yeah. So that that's something important. Uh, that I think you got to take the lead on just to figure out like what's really going on here. Second of all, I get the feeling you live in a small town somewhere because I mean you have an eighteen hundred dollar mortgage for a house, right? Dude, fucking move to a big city, girl. You got money. You the like, get out there. You're young. You know what I mean. Like life exists outside whatever small town you're living yeah, in, and it's yeah. awesome. It's exciting. Yeah. There's so much to do, and there's so many cool people to meet. You know, just fucking, just go. You know, get out there, man. We are young. Yeah. We are older. Yeah. I I hate I hate the idea that that you're you know this guy is like holding you back in some way from figuring out who you are. You know. Yeah. What do yeah, you... I don't want to sit down and explain that to him, but I don't want to make him feel bad. But this is I don't a know. fully grown man, dude. <laughs> Look, here's the th here's the thing: if you don't want to make him feel bad, you don't have like you don't have to come at this from a place of fuck you. You know, this is just you making a decision with your own life. Mm -hmm. You know, it has nothing even really to 
do with him. So you don't, I, you don't have to worry about making him feel bad. Here's what I want you to do. Tonight, tell, sit down and say, I want to have a conversation. How do you feel about what, I, what I'm doing uh, professionally? That's going to open a Pandora's box, I think. Because I, I have a bad feeling he's, he's going to say... Also, say, I think it's worth saying, you know, listen. Oh, God, this is all so bad, you know. With the rent thing. Oh, shit, I don't know, man. Tonight. I think you just got to talk to him. But first of all, ask him if he respects you. Uh, as your yeah. uh, 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 as a professional, you know what I mean. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, I don't know. I feel I feel all right. Um, definitely okay. gonna smoke some more after this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, this took a, a turn for you because you were just wanted to say, "How do I ask him to do porn?" But actually, the the, the issues are way way deeper than that. Yeah, you were right when you said there was going to be some interpersonal issues with this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, unless you guys have more questions, that's about all I got to say. Is he home and... right now? No, he's at work. He's at work. What is, where, where, where is at work for him? If he's a um, landlord. He, he, he does, um. You don't have to say. Uh, you don't yeah. have to say. Oh, she was, oh, he has, a day, she, oh, he has, sorry, a, he has a day job and he's a. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything else that you want to say before we go, Oli? Um, no, just uh, love the show. Keep up the good work, Ethan. Please don't get canceled again. Mm -hmm. I can't promise um, that. Do you want to promote your uh your page? Oh, um, I I don't know if I want to because I gave you my government name. Oh, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. right. So, yeah. So let's not do it then. Yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. All righty, girl, you're going to be fine. You're 20. I know everything feels like it's it's probably everything feels so serious and bad. Uh, and it is, right? It's serious. But yeah. uh, you're 20. You're young. You're making money. You got it all. Forget about it, huh? Yeah. And you're very lovable. Aww, I promise. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Olivia says you're lovable. We love Olivia. We love you. Aww. Yeah, and if it's any consolation, I'm sure there's at least a few guys out there who will uh, gladly uh, be for you to pay them to suck their dicks. Thank More you, More than Ethan. a couple. More than a couple, I'd say. <laughs> Seems like an easy sell. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Anik. I'm glad we finally got a hold. That was a good one. So thank you, yeah. Oni. Yeah, it's a tough situation. God, Lee, that really opened up when she's when we found out his age. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was. I I like uh, in the call. You, you, I mean, that was a, we talked to her for a long yeah. time. I really could tell that she meant it when she said she has some things to think about. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I don't know, it's hard because, like, I, you know, you can sit here and be like, break up with him, break up, but she ultimately has to come to that realization yeah. on her own. I mean, listen, she's living with him. Yeah. She's been, have two years of life with him. It's, it's easy to say something like that, but it's sure. a lot harder to actually do that. H-League Factory. We got that H-League flow.